Hey YouTube, how are you doing? We are playing a Junji Ito inspired horror game. Very short from itch.io called Next Door. I'm excited for it just because it has Junji Ito inspired things in it. I haven't played it, so I'm excited to see what it's like. I hope you enjoy it. If you like what you see, please consider liking and subscribing. But without further ado, let's dive straight in. Hmm. Space. Oh, come on. I can't study with this noise all the time. I should give the guys upstairs a piece of my mind. Go for it. I can move around. Weird eyes, extended worm-like limbs and lots of swells. Yep, pretty much. You are aware of Junji Ito's work. Guys upstairs. How quiet is it? This is this is a quiet game. Don't get me wrong. But this is quiet on my end as well. Can I have a look at the vending machine? I'm not really thirsty. I am. <laughs> Upstairs. Ah, there we go. Do you know what's weird? I never, I never heard crickets like this until I visited America. Like I was in uh, California for work, and I heard I was I literally going to a, a convenience store after work, um, and I was walking from the convenience store back to the motel that I was staying in, and I heard crickets like this, and I'm like, oh, that's a that's a real thing. Like, I thought that was like like frogs. Like, I thought it was a, a, a faked for Hollywood, because fun fact, uh, the rabbit noise you hear of frogs only actually exists in one species of frog. They just happen to live near, they happen to inhabit near the Hollywood studios. So that's why everyone thinks normal frogs go ribbit, um, well, actually, only one species of frog actually make that specific noise that you hear. Hello! What do you want? Could you please lower the volume? You always have it unbearably loud. You got this loud. Yes, it is! You're disturbing the peace. I bet you're the only one complaining. You're too uptight. If the neighbor says it's too loud, I'll think about it. Watch me, you wait right there. Can I just yell at him again? Well, go ask. Alright, I will. I'll go ask. Excuse me. Are you home? Anybody there? Probably not home. They seem to be away a lot. Away? You sure it's not just an empty room? Of course they don't complain if no one lives there. No, it isn't empty. Sometimes I hear the door opening and closing. Doesn't seem to be anyone around today though. Still, turn the fucking noise down. Well, go ask. I just did. Oh. Oh, it's a plague doctor. Hello. Excuse me, hello, excuse me, you person with no bones in their arms. Huh? Huh? She was home? Ooh, look kind of freaky too. That's the first time i ever seen her. Why all the plaque? Goth. What's going on? Could you argue somewhere else, please? Yeah, don't worry about the noise the of the thingy. Just the arguing. Oh, not her again. Just the the argument outside. Oh, that, that got real quiet real fast, didn't it? Excuse me, can I ask you something? I'm from downstairs. Does that loud music from the apartment bother you too? Well, a little, but our rooms are separated. You should ask her's next door. No, she just left. And there isn't anyone else? What do you mean? I'm pretty sure more women are living there. A strange bunch. They all have different. They all have a different figure. Uh, so, do like normal humans, um, but they dress completely in black, and they never say anything, not even a hello. Very unfriendly, if you ask me. Hmm. 
If that's all, damn, I still have laundry to do. Have a nice day. Well, thank you. Have a nice day. It's weird. This is weird and all. But doesn't really help me with the noise issue. Oh, better get back to my room and try and get some more studying. Or I could go knock on the door again. That's a thing I could do. No, apparently I can't. Apparently it's a very linear path. <laughs> I'm allowed to do very specific things. Down the stairs. Definitely not going to get jumped by anything. Am I thirsty now? I'm not really thirsty. Okay. Go back in the room then. Am I going to see a shadow across the window? No, I'm not. Interesting. Right, well, I'll just carry on studying. Oh, hey, the music stopped. What happened? After all that trouble it gave me. Oh, well, I can finally do some studying. Damn, damn, later. Whew. It's already dark. I could really use a drink. Excellent. Good. Go outside at night to get a drink. Yeah, this looks fine. Oh, I, I, I was looking at the volume. Uh, that guy from the stairs. Hey, what are you doing there? <gasps> oh, it's you. Don't, don't sneak up on me like that. You literally, my dude, you were sat in the shadows under some stairs. What's going into you? You're white as a sheet. C can I ask you something? Sure. Th those ladies next door to me. What's up with them? What do you mean? It doesn't make any sense. I, I don't know how many people live there, but they never make a single sound. And with these thin walls, I should at least... There's someone behind me! There's someone behind me! There's a tall lady behind me! I should at least be able to hear them talk or move around or something. It's freaking me out. <gasps> Giant lady. It's just uh, Lady Dumitresque on holiday. Just doing a tour. <laughs> That's all it is. <gasps> Who are they? What are you? A bad man. What are they? What, what what things are they doing next door? Just normal normal goth things, <laughs> you know. <laughs> what are they doing that not a single sound leaks through these walls? Ah, huh. I'm gonna go back to my room. See you around. See you later, loser. See you later, victim number one. What was that? It sounded like it came from upstairs. I'm gonna go back to my room. Like a normal person. That scream came from upstairs. I'm aware that scream came from upstairs. This is why no one survives in horror horror at all. This is why nobody survives in horror situations. Because everyone's like, oh, I gotta go investigate that. No, you go back into your house and you lock the door and you ring the police. That's what normal people do. Oh, good. It's a face. Or it's a cat. I'm not sure. Oh, it's a cat. <laughs> Whose cat is this? It has a cursed face. Rude. Cat does not have a cursed face. Oh, go oh, good, excellent, lovely. <laughs> Hello. Are you okay? The door seems to be open. Sure. Sure it is. That's weird. No one's home. Well, better leave. Let's look around somewhere. You fucking nosy sod. Where's music come? Ooh, sheet ghost. Ooh. It's probably a hantu. 
Oh, I missed that. Sorry. This is strange. Hey, there's a hole over there. Huh. Oh. <laughs> Fucking jump scared by a pixel game. <laughs> Must have been the wind. Must have been. How did this get here? <laughs> I'm not mentioning one one word about glory holes. I'm not doing it. This looks maybe the guy did it. <gasps> Hold. Do I have to? Huh. It's Inspector Gadget. What if Inspector Gadget was a horror game? <gasps> oh no. Now when I hold it, they're going to be right up against the hole, aren't they? Yep. Uh, gah! Uh, move. R r remove yourself from the room. Move. Go. Move. Move. What is she? Those limbs. Why do they extend and contract? It's called science. Does this mean all of those women with different figures were exactly the same woman? <gasps> go on. Poke your head back through. No. Okay. Oh dear. I can hear bumping and thumping. Where is she going? Probably in here. Yeah, it's getting louder. It's definitely getting louder. Let's... Did she leave? I doubt it. She could still be in the hallway. Jump out the window. <laughs> there we go. Or she's out the window. She's out the window. Hi. <laughs> I am gonna go. Oh, I can actually I can actually move away from them. Excellent. Oh Lord. Let's just maybe leave them to it. Let's just maybe leave. I escaped just in time. Multiple endings? As if nothing happened, the woman continued to reside next door. I'm moving away as fast as I can. How bizarre. How bizarre. What a weird little game. What a weird, weird little game. I mean, I'm definitely going to have to get caught by them as well. So we will definitely be doing that. Uh, additional assets. Yeah. Freesound.org. Awesome. Very special thanks to Junji Ito. Please support his work. I think I think Junji Ito is all right. <laughs> Junji Ito is doing all right for himself. Uh, I don't I don't see a lot of Junji Ito inspiration in that. I'll be honest with you. Maybe I'm just over, overthinking it. Maybe I didn't see it. I'm not sure, but I don't see a lot of uh, Junji Ito inspiration in that. Uh, do I need to do it? Is this a I need to kill it game? I need to kill it. Yeah. Uh, well, I couldn't find anything, so I'll downgrade my rating from expert to struggling professional. Uh, where am I? There I am. I, I agree. Why do I constantly need to install part of Game Maker in order to do this? Next door. Pretty sure it's hand drawn, and we're going to find out sooner or later. Right, skip all this. You can still be in the hallway. Let's search the window. Uh, 
Okay, so this is the other ending. This is this is good animation, I'm not gonna lie. This is very good animation. Right, so move back a bit and then just let you get me, I'll be honest. Go on, give us a cuddle. <laughs> After that, I passed out. As if nothing happened, the woman continued to reside next door. I'm moving away as fast as I can. So no no alternate ending. It's still the same stuff. It's still, still the same thing that happens. Okay, that's fair enough. For a simple game, it is good. It, it's, it feels like it's it's well-crafted enough. As I said, I'm not really sure the, about the Junji Ito inspiration. Uh, maybe I've just not read enough of his stuff, but it's good. It's a, it's, a, it's a nice little horror game, and someone has knocked this together and put it online, and it's now there for everyone to enjoy. So... And speaking of enjoy, I hope you've enjoyed this YouTube video. Uh, if you like this, please consider liking it and subscribing. Maybe sharing it with your friends. Maybe sharing it with other Junji Ito fans. See if they can pick up on the subtleties that I may have missed. And then you can tell me down in the comments section below. But if you want to join us here live on the channel, you can do every Tuesday and Thursday. I have to remember then. Every Tuesday and Thursday at 5pm BST. Where we'll be playing the weirdest and most wonderful indie horror games. But for now, stay safe, stay spooky. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks very much.